Hi, in this video we are going to talk about universal set and complement set or complementary set. So first we are going to talk about universal set. A set from which elements can be chosen to form a particular set is called universal set. So suppose if you are talking about a set A, A is equal to the set of months you have summer holidays. How many elements will be there? You have summer holidays suppose in April and May. So this is actually the set A and what will be the universal set for the set? The universal set is usually represented as capital U or sometimes it is represented as Psi and this set in this case will be the set of months of the year. If you go to some another country or if you go to the southern part of the globe, the months on which they have summer holidays may vary, right? But they all will belong to the set of months of the year, which will actually be this set. The set of all the months in a year is January, February, March, April, right? So you can take any number of sets from this and you can form the set of summer holidays in a particular country. Right? So, therefore, this set, the set of all the months in the year, will be called the universal set and this set A, which is the set of months of summer holidays, will actually be the subset of this universal set. Right? So, anything you talk about months, that will always be a subset of this set which has months in a year. Right? So, that is why it is called universal set, which is represented either as capital U but this can be confused with union sign that is why mostly we write it as psi. This is the symbol which represent the universal set. So this will be the universal set for this particular example and now suppose if I write a set B which is the set of even numbers. For this the universal set will be the set of whole numbers right if b is the set of even numbers then then this set can actually be drawn from the set of whole numbers set of whole numbers starts from 0 and it has all the natural numbers also that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on right so all these numbers 2 4 and 6 which will belong to the set b the set of even numbers can actually be drawn from the set of whole numbers right so that is why in this case the universal set is psi which is the set of whole numbers and b the set of even numbers will actually be a subset of this universal set similarly if i define a set a as the set of odd numbers for this also the set of whole numbers will be the universal set similarly if i define a set c as a set of all positive multiples of 5 this set will also be a subset of the set of whole numbers right so in all these three cases in all these three sets can actually be drawn from this universal set which is actually the set of whole numbers right so i think now you understand and now let's talk about the complement set what is a complement set so this is the definition of complement set complement set is actually a set of elements in the universal set other than the given set right so as we were discussing the set of summer holidays was actually the set of two months which is april which are april and may right so complement set of this set will be represented as a dash and this will be the set of all the other months which are not there in this set a all the other months which are there in universal set and the universal set was January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Right? So all the elements from universal set which are not there in set A will be there in its complement set. That means January will be there, February will be there, March will be there, April and May will not be there. We will have June, we'll have July, 
we'll have August, September, October we'll have, we'll have November and we'll have December. So this set will be the complement set of the set of summer holidays, right? Or you can call this set is a set where we don't have summer holidays or we have school. So the set of months in which you have school is actually a complementary set of the set of summer holidays. And at the same time, the set of summer holidays is a complementary set of set of months when you have schools, right? So both these sets, set A and A dash, they are complement of each other. They are complementary sets for each other, right? And suppose if I define universal set psi as the set of natural numbers and if I define set B as the set of even numbers then the set of odd numbers will be the complementary set of set B and it can be written as B dash right then the set of even numbers is actually a complementary set for set of odd numbers or you can say the set of odd numbers is a complement set of set of even numbers right so this we have discussed first thing we have is a universal set universal set is a set from which we can draw elements to a particular set right and then we have complement set complement set is actually a set of elements from universal set which are not there in this particular set right for example here in set a we have april and may so the complement set of a will have all the other months of the year other than april and may right so i think now you understand what is universal set and complement set and in next video we are going to discuss about venn diagram and then we will learn the few operations which we perform on sets and we will understand those operations using Venn diagram also right so bye bye till then and keep watching math smart